Hello and welcome Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. You are the Earth signs and this is a six months reading for the element of Earth, which means for you uh, three signs, the six months, even though time doesn't flow quite as evenly as we would want it to, um, are from sort of the the end of the first week in, in July until the end of the first week in January, if that makes sense. That's sort of the timeline we're talking here and we will look at how the next six months are flowing and what energies you can or you will likely meet and how to respond to that. Right? So let's just do that. Let's just shuffle again. Earth signs. Well, the first thing I should probably say to you when you look at, at six months ahead, you can only really work things out when you are truly your, your, your sign, which means you have to be uh, grounded to make any sense of anything here, right? Here we go. Okay. Here we go. What we have here is Chiron, the the, um, the wounded healer. Then we have discomfort in the three months line until we finally, in the six months then, reach clarification and solar calm. What you can expect, dear Earth signs, is to now understand that what you really need is a bit of a break, a bit of me time, because you are going through healing that will not necessarily feel great. But once you allow yourself to go through it, which is obviously what this is, um, at the end of the six months line, you will be in a much better place. So here's how this all works. You have Chiron, which is the, 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 the um, he speaks about the concept of the wounded, Healer, and you have the number 28, 8 and 2 is 10, we gish to 0 is 1. Now, if you allow yourself to look at healing the way it is supposed to happen, you can automatically, by just not looking away from yourself and saying, it, no, I, I need to get through this, I need to get this sorted, with that kind of energy, you will then notice that this triggers new beginnings for you because you're finally releasing. There's loads of stuff that you need to release. Now the depiction here of Chiron, uh, the healer, is a snake. And the snake is a, is a symbol of protection and healing. You go to the pharmacy, you see the snake around the cane, and the snake has to shed its skin. So ultimately, Earth signs, it is time to let things go. Holding on to things will not mean it will work as a matter of fact holding on to things is what makes it not work really really important to understand that now in relation to to and this is just now if that makes sense so in relation to um the issue that i'm having here is that we're having a six months line and in your three months line roughly about here you will feel a lot in discomfort so there will be a lot of stuff that is that is going to be dredged up for you so the sort of healing in the next six months can take can take a, a, a longer time i'm seeing the energy here of of being not so great having to look at stuff um for about two months and then towards the end of the four months line going into five and six um that's when you finally get a lot of clarity but it leads to total clarity at the end of the six months line first end of first week in january so the point is when it comes to your healing here um, you are asked to understand that in order for you to heal you have to allow yourself breaks you have to allow yourself time out you need to understand this if you are looking at your healing at your needs to let things go which is what this is um, you have to be able to sustain yourself in the meantime. So what, what doesn't work, what will not work for you, Earth signs, is to think, oh, I just work more. This way I get through that shit 
because then I have to look at it. It's not going to work that way. You are literally asked to pay a lot of attention to what is it that needs to heal and allow this to happen. And it will be, will be uh, four months. It's not four months of pain. Don't hear this wrong. But you take this seriously. And because you need some breaks and you need some nurturing moments in between, this is not something that is going to happen quickly. At the same time, this is also not something that, um, that has come to you overnight. So there's a lot of stuff here that is older uh, when it comes to trauma and pain. So changes need to happen, but they start with you understanding I'm not super well because that healing comes with releasing something and maybe even someone, right? And you're asked to be grounded, be in your center. Remember, you are earth signs. Be grounded, super, super important. And you will get through this. Now, like I said, the three to four months line, um, you almost feel debilitated. You feel like, I can't take that shit anymore. <laughs> right? um, but with that feeling comes the feeling of, but I can see I made progress. Things are really changing, right? So, so don't don't block it. Um, there will be a time in the three to four months uh, period here uh, in the next in the next six months where you notice, oh my God, it's getting it's getting it's getting easier. It's really really important. And your rising sign, the ascendant here, um, is with you, and he has the number seven. Uh, sorry, the number eight. Um, so. The ascendant, energetically speaking, in your energy here as an earth sign, obviously, whatever your birth chart is, the ascendant sits somewhere in it. But the energy here is that the, the ascendant is actually trying to sit in the in Libra, which is the seventh sign. So I'm getting the energy of, of, of Libra, of the seventh sign, quite strongly. The, the problem is that it's only entering from there, and the, and the number, the numerical value, of the ascendant here is eight. Now eight can be stumbling blocks. What that means is, as you go through these changes, as you realize, wow, that was really heavy, but now I can see changes are coming. With the change that is coming, you will get a better, um, better sense of where your life is going or where it could be heading, provided you're not blocking it. And what you need to do when you have a number eight, you have to topple it over so it becomes the infinity sign. So around three to four months, you will begin to see the world much more, uh, much more differently. And um, it will begin to feel much better. So point is the next three months, three and a half months, maybe four, depending on, at least for some of you, um, it is not going to be uh, super easy for you to make changes that... And it's all about change that 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 is that would have would have been that you could have done earlier. Not trying to sound judgmental, but you understand that you have been watching stuff for quite some time. And I'm not saying you haven't tried to change it, but you will now come to the point where you feel as you know, this isn't really changing um, for the better. So maybe the change is to move on. Um, and if there if if this is something you want to hold on to. Um, I just have to say the way this is, none of these, including the, the, the numerology here, um, is about holding on to things. This is all about it is what it is, let's get through it energy, right? Ultimately, once you come to the four and a half to five months line, um, December, that makes sense, end of November, December into <coughs> January then, um, you're finally beginning to feel much calmer, you have the number 16, one and six is seven, seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So you're going to a place where you feel protected, where you feel really safe and where things are finally on the up. Now, interestingly then is once you get to the end, to the beginning of January and you feel like, okay, um, where do I go from here? What the guides are saying to you is when you get to that space, hey man, when you get to that space, do less. So your job is not to plan a new life. Your job is to get there in one piece, right? Um, understand that you're getting there in one piece. Um, you, you just get clarification and then in order to make changes and plans what to do with that newfound freedom, you take your time, you do less. Okay, earth signs. 
That was your six months reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Right? I see you all very soon. You want to say goodbye, Molly? Hmm? Molly says goodbye. Bye bye.